Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a first quarter of the year book haul. Now keeping in mind I didn't actually start doing booktube until mm, middle to late February and I actually have only been buying books since March. Anyways, <laughs> um, most of these, about roughly about half of them are going to be book of the month which you will have already seen if you saw my February book of the month unboxing as well as my massive book of the month unboxing haul type thing but um, just to recap I can leave all of the videos linked in the description box but the first three are from my February book of the month they are Ready Player One, Ready Player Two, and A Girl. The next eight come from the book of the month haul where I accumulated three boxes when I wasn't reading last year and um, also in this year and I just sort of unbox them all at once so that is gonna be the next eight so my choices for the September book of the month in 2020 were Anxious People by Frederick Bachman, Winter Counts by David Heska Wanbley Wyden and I, I got an add-on Atomic Love Janine Fields. The next three books I'm gonna talk about uh, were for my January I believe I think that the book that I ended up picking was uh, this one for January and then um, it's my birthday in January so I ended up getting this one as the birthday gift and then of course at the end of the year they do the book of the month finalists and I chose uh, The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. The last two books before we get into some newer books that I picked up more recently that would be The Wife Upstairs and this is by Rachel Hawkins and People Like Her, and this is by Ellery Lloyd. For the last part of this Book of the Month portion haul, I have this most recent box. This is from March. Um, I'm gonna unbox it now. I remember half of what's in it. So as always, we have the Book of the Month bookmark, and it says, where were we? With a little snail dude. I picked Opal and Nev. Oh, the final revival of Opal and Nev, and this is by John Walton. This was pitched as a um, Daisy Jones and the Six-ish thing, and I really loved Daisy Jones and the Six. I don't know how true to that it's going to be. Um, I don't know much else about it. I know that I believe this is about a, okay, yes, it is about a black punk artist before her time. So Opal is a fiercely independent young woman pushing against the grain in her style and attitude a black punk artist before her time. Coming of age in Detroit, she can't imagine settling for a comfortable job. Despite her unconventional looks, Opal believes she can be a star. So I am going to stop reading there. If you are interested in picking this up, I kind of like to go into things sort of relatively in the dark, so I don't even really have the time like to read the synopsis. So I am definitely looking forward to reading this one. I think that I might try and pick this one up soon. The other March book of the month selection was uh, Too Good to Be True. This is supposed to be a thriller um, in some capacity. It is by Corolla Lovery, and I don't want to know anything about it because it's a thriller mystery thing and I like to go into these mostly completely in the dark. And then the final book that I ended up picking up for this month, which was not a book of the month selection, it was just um, an add-on and I am sort of slowly trying to collect um, the backlist titles of Our Dear Gillian Flynn. This is Sharp Objects. I have read Gone Girl and that was it. And this is super short. It is, I know nothing about it by the way. This book is super short and I feel like I can fly through it, um, aside from the fact that it is a thriller and I do like Gillian Flynn's writing style. I also have uh, The Grown Up or A Grown Up. I read that uh, probably 2018, 2019 and I enjoyed it so I am familiar with her writing style so I feel like I can work this in somewhere at some point. So the next set of books are not from Book of the Month. So this book is called Rebel of the Sands. I actually won this in a giveaway on or in the diamond painting community. Uh, they were doing a diamond painting event, um, sort of like a readathon here, but it was a diamond painting event in which the concept or the theme was uh, books in diamonds. And it was hosted by one of my really good friends in that community. 
and I just happened to win it. It was kind of crazy. Um, yeah, so this is about, you know, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Um, I have no idea, really, honestly. This book is 314 pages. It is a fantasy, um, I'm assuming, and it is also a series. So if I do end up liking this, there are two other books that are one other book at least one other book that I can pick up um, by this author, which is Alwyn Hamilton. The next two books I picked up for my uh, reading the, you know, sort of objective best uh, three books um, that I found repeatedly on the 2020 best of the list, or best of the year list, and those were The House in the Cerulean Sea and the Song of Achilles. So I actually have read these two, so I can sort of talk about them. This is a, uh, well, it's obviously a Greek, <laughs> Greek-inspired sort of retelling of Achilles and his life and um, maybe some love. Like, I don't want to go into too much because I really feel like this is something that if you do end up reading, I don't want to tell you anything about it. I just want you to go into it and love every second of it. And then the next book is The House in the Cerulean Sea. Oh, this one is by Madeline Miller. I suck. This is by Madeline Miller, and this is by T.J. Clute. So this one is about a uh, sort of um, child protective services-esque uh, caseworker that goes to an island. And on this island, there are some magical children, and um, everything is just wonderful and fantastic and I just loved it. Um, just, you know, I loved it. The next two books I got to catch up on 2019 books, books that I didn't end up getting into in 2019 that I needed to get into so I could catch up on 2020's reading. So this is Get a Life Chloe Brown. I have already read this. It is about a girl named Chloe Brown who sort of has a life-altering event happen to her and she sees that like the way she's been living she wants to sort of change things about it she wants to get a life if you will and so she makes a list and she wants to complete the things on her list so that you know when she inevitably does die she will have fond memories to look back on the next book is Royal Holiday by Jasmine Guillory I have read the first three books in this sort of companion series. Um, I have had have good feelings about the first one, uh, mixed feelings about the third one, and I think that the second one I just found to be good. Nothing great, but good. But I do like Jasmine Guillory's writing style, and I do like the way that she writes her heroines, so I am definitely interested in picking up, obviously, this one. And then, of course, uh, the 2021, because I think there are six total. So there was, this one came out in 2019, uh, one came out in 2020, and then there's going to be one coming out in 2021. So I want to try and catch up on this series so that when it does come out, I can pick that one up. The next book on my haul list uh, may have been a mistake. And that is House of Leaves. First of all, this is a massive chunker here. It's like over 700 pages, and it's thick. It's very heavy and um, not pleased. Um, I originally picked this up because, first of all, it's a horror, and I think I like horror. I believe I do. And if I don't, I want to, you know? So um, there's been a couple horrors that I have enjoyed. But for the most part, I feel like I typically lean more on the thriller side of things. I read more thrillers than horrors. So I picked this up because it was the literally dead book club pick for March. Um, I started a vlog. I'm not sure if that will ever see the light of day. But I did start that vlog and I got to page uh, four of this book. And I needed a break. And I haven't picked it back up since. So... This is House of Leaves by Mark Z. Not even gonna try that last name. The final book that I ended up picking up in uh, the first quarter of the year, I ended up picking up during an overnight or right before an overnight. I wanted to get something light and fluffy just in case I did not end up liking the book that I ended up picking to take with me for the overnight. And that was The Right Swipe. And this is by Alicia Ray. 
and I started reading it and I got to page 122. Nothing wrong with it. I just put it down so that I could pick up another book and then I picked up the other book and then I haven't picked this one back up. Um, I'm trying to, I want to finish this one. I definitely want to finish this one before the end of this month. I have probably three books I'm hoping to complete by the end of this month. This one, I have one on audio and then a, another thriller book that I've already started that I'm about, I want to say like a third of the way through. So I want to pick up, I want to finish the books I've already picked up um, and started, especially the ones I made like 100 page headway in. Like, House of Leaves, I've not necessarily given up completely, but I'm setting it aside. Uh, so anyways, that is uh, the final book on my list to talk about today. So those are all the books I haul. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like me or would like to see more from me, please hit subscribe. I would be so happy to have you. Alright, I hope that you are being safe, washing your hands, taking care of yourselves.